Hey guys, Ty Tatro here with Redtail Overland. Behind me here, you see the Redtail Skyloft. And this is a unique product, um, first of its kind on the market. So this is a product that we created to fill a, a gap in the market that we found. So, you know, we are explorers, we're adventurers, we're often using our camper to get to places to do other things than just camp, whether we're mountain biking or doing other activities. It's important for us to have a, a very comfortable base camp. With the rise of camping these days, we found it even more critical to get off the beaten path so we could get away from everything and, and really be out there in nature. So when we were setting out to make this product, um, we kind of looked at the market and looked at the current offerings. There was rooftop tents, which were great in the fact that they got you off the beaten path, but they lacked some of the comfort and security and features that we were looking for. Uh, once, when we were looking for things that have those features, they lacked the ability to get off the beaten path, whether that was a trailer or a van or a larger RV. So we kind of took this hybrid approach uh, with the versatility and the and a nimble freedom of a rooftop tent combined with the luxury aspects of something a little bit bigger and combined them together and came up with the Red Hill Skyloft. I'm really excited today to walk you through all the features of this and show you why we think it's so cool. So in order to keep the weight light enough on this to mount it on top of a vehicle, we had to get very creative on what we built it out of. So we tried aluminum, we tried fiberglass, everything was too heavy. So we landed on carbon fiber. Uh, it's the lightest material to build a structure like this. So this is a carbon fiber foam, carbon fiber panel. This keeps it very lightweight um, and allows us to have this solid wall structure. The other material we used is a machine billet aluminum. You'll see that in these mounting points on the side where we can mount an awning or other different accessories and also aluminum in the bottom where we can actually mount this unit to the vehicle. So one of the first things you're going to notice is that this is hard. So this is a solid wall here. This is not a tent. Uh, this is a fully insulated structure. So we've got these rigid walls. And you can see here, there's a, a rigid wall. So this thing is super stiff. So super solid, super heavy. That's going to give us a couple of benefits. It's going to insulate this thing from a thermal standpoint. Um, so whether it's super hot outside or super cold outside, we've got insulation in the walls and the ceiling and the floor, fully insulated. The other thing it's gonna do is insulate us from sound. So it's something you don't commonly think about, but in a traditional rooftop tent, they can be very loud. If it's windy outside, even if you're camping next door to another party, it can be very loud. This thing is gonna insulate against ambient sound. So in addition to these hard walls keeping you cozy inside and keeping the sound out, um, there's a piece of security that comes with them. So there's something different about sleeping in something that's hard-sided. It gives you peace of mind, it gives you security, uh, whether that's from you know, other parties that may be near you or maybe wildlife in the area. So there's actually some state national parks that require hard-sided campers. So, uh, this qualifies for that, so you can use it in those areas and feel safer and get a better night's sleep. So one of the features we wanted when we designed this was to have these big windows. We wanted to be able to look outside if there's inclement weather, if it's snowing, raining, sleet outside, whatever. We didn't want to be closed up in a little box. The problem was that these windows are traditionally very heavy. Um, so we couldn't use a glass window, so we had to come up with something else. So we ended up inventing this window. This is a dual pane 
polycarbonate window that we ended up patenting. And this is fully insulated, super solid, it's going to keep all the cold weather and inclement weather outside while you're cozy inside enjoying the view. So before designing this, we had a traditional rooftop tent. What we loved about it is that you could open everything up and you could really feel like you were outside. So when we were coming up with this design, we wanted to keep retain those features. Um, so this whole back window completely opens up. So you can slide this pane up, you can slide this one down, you can flip the whole thing up. You can have your coffee, have your legs outside of it. Side windows open up, so it's really light and airy and it feels like you're in a traditional rooftop tent. But then when weather comes in, you can close it all down and be super solid, secure, and warm. You can have a lot of condensation issues in a roof, traditional rooftop tents. This, you don't have that because we have that insulation, it keeps the moisture from accumulating on the inside of the roof. So because everything is composite and carbon fiber on this, we're able to virtually eliminate thermal bridging. So thermal bridging is if we built this out of aluminum, the heat would transfer right through the aluminum to the inside. You get a bunch of moisture issues, condensation issues. So we took our time in designing this and we made everything out of composites, which doesn't have that same issue. Well, insulation is great and all, but if you don't have a heat source, it's still going to be pretty cold if you're in frigid temperatures. So the one thing we knew we wanted was a heater, and it was one of the most difficult things to figure out. So this being our self-contained unit has an integrated little S-bar diesel heater. And you actually see the exhaust for the heater here. So this is going to plumb to either a diesel tank on your vehicle or we have a Rotopax diesel tank that you can mount on your spare tire carrier or wherever it might be convenient. And it's gonna heat this unit up. So we've actually slept in it in negative five degrees Fahrenheit. We were toasty and warm, it was like 70 degrees inside. So it really makes it a four season unit. You can be comfortable in four seasons um, and, and really enjoy your time out there. So in order to run the lighting and the heat and the USB outlets and everything else that's in this, we needed a power source and we didn't want to rely on the vehicle's power source. So we integrated 330 watts of solar into this unit. So this is a flexible panel, uh, super high end, super efficient. This is going to charge a battery bank. It's either mounted in this unit or down in the vehicle. And that's gonna allow you to run all your electronics without having to worry about charging. So in designing this, weight was a major consideration. So we had to keep it light enough to be able to mount to a truck van, SUV, whatever it may be, and still have all these features. Um, so when we were looking at that, what we found is that in the market, the weight adds up. So traditionally you would have a roof rack that might be 60, 80, 100 pounds. Then you would have a rooftop tent, which might be 150, 200, 250 pounds. So when you add it all up, you end up with a setup that's 300 to 450 pounds. And we knew that if we could take the roof rack and the tent or camper in this case and integrate the two, that we could get rid of 100 pounds of that. So this unit has an integrated rack system in it. So there's actually T-tracks in the bottom of it that you can mount to your vehicle. So we can mount feet directly to this unit mount it to your car, and then your whole weight of it um, is a lot less. So this unit, as you see, it's gonna come in at about 330 pounds. That's the fully self-contained unit with the integrated heater, batteries, all that. Um, if you're on a van or a truck where you can put some of the systems below, you can get the weight substantially less. So in addition to integrating the rack into this, we wanted this to be a solution for everything you would typically put on the top of an overland vehicle, whether that's lights or shovels or awnings. Um, so we were very thoughtful in this design and we integrated these T-tracks you can see on these brackets. So this would allow you to mount an awning here, for instance, or you could mount max tracks, or you could mount an ax or a shovel. 
um, right on the side of this without adding additional brackets or those sorts of things. So one of the cool things with this structure we created is we have these integrated T-tracks on the roof. So we wanted to be able to mount ski racks, bike racks, carry canoes, kayaks, whatever. And we knew we had to make the structure super solid as well. So when this is down, you can actually stand on it. You can walk up here to mount your different things, to bring your kayak up, or even if you have to clear snow off of your solar panels, you can do that and this thing will hold up to it. We also wanted lighting to be included. So you can see here, this is a flush mount light. So this is a Baja Designs S1 light. This is dimmable. Uh, this will illuminate your campsite or even when you're pulling up to camp and wanna see um, you know, the lay of the land, you can use these. They're recessed, so if, we, if we're driving through brush and trees, you're not gonna rip them off. You don't have any exposed wiring. Super clean, super nice, fully in so all the electronics on the Red Tail are controlled with the Switch Pro system. And what that does is it allows us to dim all the lighting. It also allows us to control it with your phone. So I can turn on our left lights here. I can dim those lights down, make them brighter, whatever I need to. And why we wanted that control was because if you're in your vehicle, you can now control these lights from the driver's seat and you don't have to wire anything between this and your vehicle. It's just all wireless. our Overland rig, we wanted to have lights on the front of it, and we didn't want to have a separate mount for those. So we actually integrated this T-Track in the front, and we can mount a light bar to this, we can mount uh, multiple lights. So our rig has six Baja Designs LP6s up here. Makes it super nice, super easy, and fully integrated. So hard sides and all these features are nice and all, but if it's super complicated or takes forever to set up, it kind of loses its luster. So when we designed this, we wanted to make it super simple to set up and to put down. Um, so this unit sets up super quickly. You just pull it up and then push the back wall up. Uh, to put it down, you just reverse that process. So there's no tucking of fabric and trying to close latches and all that. It just slams closed from the back, one latching point, Super easy, super fast, super nice. We're designing this, we played around with a bunch of different shapes. We knew we wanted it to be easy to open and close, uh, but we played around with the wedge design, which is what you see here. We played around with the straight pop-up design. And what we found with the straight pop-up design is it got very unstable when we went up with it because there was nothing to connect the top to the bottom. So as it went up, it got super unstable, and then you had to fold up a front wall and a back wall. With a wedge, you could keep the front pinned to the bottom and it kept everything stable and made it nice to open and close. And then you're only folding up one wall. So not only was that easier to fold and worked better, but it was actually a lot more lightweight because we only had the one wall to fold up. And we could actually make it taller too because we had that stability. So the wedge is great and all, but one of the downsides of it is that the toe box is usually super cramped. So when it hinges in the front, you don't have much room for your feet. So we came up with a design that alleviates that, and it's this sliding hinge mechanism you see here. So this actually telescopes out three inches in the front. Doesn't seem like much, but when we go back to where our feet are, it actually gives you full height for your feet. Sometimes you may want to take this on or off of the vehicle. So we came up with a design of a quick release mounting foot. So there's six locking pins. You pull those out and the whole unit just lifts up. Makes it super easy to take it off your vehicle if you don't want it up there. And then if you're storing it in your garage, whether it's on your vehicle or not, you don't want the batteries to go dead in this. We actually integrated a 110 AC charger. So there's a plug right here. You just plug an extension cord in. It'll keep it charged, keep it topped off and be ready for your next adventure. So we wanted the inside of the Skyloft to be super nice. We wanted it to be like nothing you've seen in a rooftop tent. 
When you're up here, it's super cozy, super inviting. A lot more like a high-end camper than a tent. So we did a, a soft touch upholstery, so super nice upholstery. There's a foam behind it, so it has a nice feel to it. Same thing on the headliner, so this nice tweed headliner. We have real wood accents throughout. Um, nice high-end marine grade LED lighting. It's a super cozy, super inviting. Just a place you want to hang out. So as you can tell, it's very roomy in here. So I'm sitting at the midpoint, and you can see I can totally sit up, no problem. Uh, it's very high here, so I can actually kneel up. We're about five, a little over five feet ahead of here, so it makes it super nice. If I'm trying to change, put on clothes, whatever. One of the challenges we had when we were designing this was finding a suitable mattress. So we've partnered with this company out of Europe that makes this amazing mattress. And it's thin enough that it allows us to keep our bedding and our pillows in here when it's closed. So what we have that you're not gonna find on many rooftop offerings is dimmable LED lighting. So this touchpad right here, I can just turn these on and now I can see what I'm doing, which is fantastic. I can also dim these down to create whatever vibe I want. The other cool thing we did is we actually did a night vision red, so we can turn this on, dimmable as well, a lot easier on the eyes in, uh, in dark environments and we can still see the stars and all that kind of stuff. So another feature we have is a full-size variable speed fan. So this is gonna be rare to the rooftop market. Um, it's really nice because it can pull fresh air in and really help to keep this environment cool and comfortable. So the Redtail is fully insulated and heated. So all the walls are insulated, the ceiling's insulated, and we have an integrated heater in this front box here. We can control the temperature just like you would at home. We could set it to 72 in here, and it'll maintain that. The other nice thing about it being fully insulated is if we mount this on a van or something where we could put an air conditioner below, we can actually duck that air conditioning up in here. You can have a fully four season unit. So anytime you have a heater in an enclosed space, safety is a big consideration. So we wanted to make sure we had all the highest end safety equipment. So we've got a smoke detector integrated in here. We've got a carbon monoxide detector. Um, this heater is super high end. It's a marine installation. So everything is exhausted out of the vehicle. Um, there's also a safety switch on here. So if you happen to leave your heater on when you close this down, it'll turn it off. Another awesome feature that we have that you may not have seen before is this. So this hatch opens up and allows us to go down on the vehicle. Our vehicle is a 2018 Ford Expedition. We can actually go down through the sunroof, but we can mount this on top of a van or a truck camper or anything like that. And you can use this to gain access to the vehicle. So the red tail is really cool when it's mounted on the top of a van because it's an extension of your living space. So this is fully four season, insulated, heated, air conditioned, and it adds 65% space to a 144 Sprinter. So it allows you to have this full extra room, whether you're gonna put the kids up here, put them to bed, whether you and your wife wanna enjoy a cocktail while looking out at an awesome view, it really gives you that freedom of having two separate living spaces. So in a van application, we wanted to be able to open and close this from the inside without having to go outside, without having to climb up the side of your van. So we designed it such that this door is removable. You can just walk up your ladder, hit a switch, it disengages the latch at the back, and you just push it open, crawl up, and easily fold the back wall up. To close it, you just reverse that, pull the wall down, and pull the unit down, all from the inside of the van, all without having to go outside. This is the control panel here for all the electronics. So this will control the inside lighting, the heater, the outside lighting, the inverter, right from this touchpad here. So we were able to integrate all the electronics in this front box you see here. So that's the batteries, the circuit protection, the solar charge controller, the AC charger, the inverter, carbon monoxide detector, USB outlets, 110 outlet, battery monitor, there's a lot of stuff going on in there, but we wanted to keep it as small and compact as possible so we could keep the area in here nice, large, and open. 
Because of weight, lithium was obviously the only choice for batteries. So these batteries in here are lithium. They're three little 20 amp hour lithium batteries. Because we have so much solar, we don't need a huge battery bank. So that solar can charge this battery bank and easily get us through the night. Even if we're charging our phones, running the heater, running the lights, no problems at all. So because we have so much solar on the roof, we can recharge our battery bank really quickly. So this will charge in about two hours from fully dead. And that also means that if we have a day where we have clouds, where the solar conditions aren't perfect, we can still charge throughout the course of the day. That enables us to not have to wire this to the vehicle. So it can be fully self-contained. You just put it on top of the vehicle and it's ready to run. So because we use Victron Electronics for our battery monitor and our solar, it actually enables us to monitor them with our phone. So we can go in here and we can see the state of our batteries or how much solar we're getting. Why that's important is because this is on the roof of our vehicle. When we're driving on the road, sometimes I wanna see where my batteries are at, how much solar we're getting, are we charged up and ready to go? So one of the things we run into when we're living on the road is our electronics always seem to be dead. So you can plug them in your car during the day, but at night your car turns the outlet off, they're not gonna charge. When we came up with this, we wanted to have charging in here so that we have USB ports in every single corner. They're USB-A and USB-C, so you can charge through the night off the battery bank. You can also charge your MacBook right off of these, um, but if you have something that's just 110, like a drone battery or a camera battery, we have a little 110 watt inverter in here, so you can plug those units right into there, charge them up overnight, be ready to go for the next day. Thanks for checking out the Redtail Skyloft with us today. To learn more about it, check us out on the web, redtailoverland.com, or on all the social platforms, at Redtail Overland.